All of my life, people, like one of the first things I've gotten so many times is, I don't understand you. I would say that growing up as a tomboy was definitely hard. I got made fun of by boys and girls at school. You know, none of the boys liked me or thought I was cute, and girls didn't, I didn't fit in with girls. I started modeling and like skirts and stuff, so I hated that. I stopped from modeling completely from when I was like 16 to, I want to say 19. It kind of took a toll on me and my self-confidence, mainly because I wasn't doing stuff that I feel like I was meant to be doing. They have to put a label on it, and I just don't, I don't get it. You don't have to be a man to have short hair and wear men's clothing. After high school, when I was living in San Francisco, I met a couple cool friends when I was in theater class, so they were really awesome. It was through these friends that I started to have confidence in myself, and liking myself, and loving myself. This photographer in LA uh, by the name of Tashka Turnquist reached out to me and she said, your look is so androgynous, that's what you need to capitalize on. So she started photographing me a bit more in an androgynous fashion. For example, she was like, you know, don't wear as much makeup, let's mess your hair around, and uh, certain, just embody certain masculine characteristics and mannerisms. And I found that it was not hard for me to do any of that. It actually felt a lot more natural than wearing tons of makeup, crazy hair product, really stylized outfits, and trying to be really girly and feminine. So working with her kind of opened my eyes and showed me a whole other side to myself that I'd never even explored. And then I noticed people reacted really positively to that. I have found like going on dates with guys and they're like, no, keep it like that. But then I've also had the opposite of a guy, like I had a wig on for a shoot where I had long brown hair and he was like, you look way prettier like that. And I was like, ooh, I'm not seeing you again. <laughs> now in my career, I work with people who accept how I look and what I present and I think they like it and they want to show it. And I think it's great to be around supportive people that aren't trying to put me in another box. Instead of feeling self-conscious about the things that I used to, like not having a typical women's body, now I'm like capitalizing on the things that I used to be self-conscious about. So I did like a, a shoot like last week and we were shooting in a 7-Eleven, like the, the parking area and this lady was like, she got inspired by us. She was like, I want my daughter to be just like you. So it was really cool. Now I can embrace who I am and I don't have to change anything and alter anything about myself and that feels good. I love that I am androgynous in my look, in my dress, maybe even in my behavior because I don't feel that I have to be limited to just one thing all the time. And if I can show that to other people and they can be more comfortable with themselves, I think that's ultimately the greatest thing.